Thank you much, Emily. It is 640 here on your Wednesday morning. First day of the Canfield Fair, as she mentioned, and you have to look the part, right? Once again, Youngstown Clothing Company teaming up with the fair is the official merchandise vendor and here to give you a sneak peek at all the designs, at least some of the designs for this year's fair, because there's a lot of them, is Matt McClure in studio with us. Matt, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you too, Steve. Thanks uh, for having me. So first off, how, how much fun is it to, to work on designs uh, with the Canfield Fair for such an iconic event around here? It's so much fun. We just, we love to just, you know, get our list together and one by one go through some of our favorite nostalgic stuff from when we were kids at the fair and now we just turn that into different designs. Yeah, and it hits home with, with, with so many of us, especially when it comes to something like the Canfield Fair. You have one on yes. right here for the 175th edition. So tell us about uh, some of the some of the designs that you guys have this year. Sure. So this one is our 175 year or 175th fair shirt. Uh, we also have a couple other ones. We have uh, something to crow about. We've got some demo derby. We have all in all, we have 12 adult shirts. Uh, we have some kids shirts this year and lots of other uh, promo prizes. We're going to be playing a lot of games. This one one of our that is so cool, piggy. right? This yeah. little piggy went to the Canfield Fair. That's amazing for for the kids, especially. You have hats as well yep. uh, sitting in front of in front of me. It's it's got to be so much fun to to do this when you guys are working on the designs. It seems like there's a lot of places, a lot of ways you can go with it. it it's got to be fun creatively, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, it is. We had our first taste of it in 2019 when mm -hmm. we did it, and we did a collection then. And then this year we decided to go a whole new collection. Took some of our favorite parts. We got a lot of other ones that we're excited about to reveal later today as well. Very cool. I still wear the uh, the corn dog shirt from a couple of years that ago, yeah, and, and people get I get a lot of I get a lot of comments anytime I wear it. Uh, and by the way, if anybody comes out to the fair, they they can literally get them at the fair, right? Where yes. they, where they can they find you guys? So we're at the main. Uh, merchandise chalet which is close to the big rock and uh, by the grandstand over by the administration building but you can't miss it if you're up there it's the big uh, chalet chalet building yeah it's uh, and, and it is also the place that is going to have people flocking to it uh, every single day in case in case you don't see the building itself just follow the herd of people <laughs> that are that are coming out there uh, if anybody's out of town I mean there's a lot of people that you know grew up around here uh, are they able to get these online at some point uh, not yet so they're fair exclusive mm -hmm. until after Monday when the fair ends uh, then they'll be up online on Tuesday. And, and you guys do a lot of this with, with so many local brands well beyond just the Canfield Fair. Why, why has that been important to you to, to really kind of focus on? I mean, I've seen stuff with Handles and White House Fruit Farm. You guys partner with so many of these awesome local organizations and businesses. Why is that so important to you? Well, uh, for us, you know, a lot of it has to do with the nostalgia factor. We love working with those staple businesses that we feel like we grew up admiring, loving, and, you know, kind of want to model ourselves after, and we just really enjoy working with all of them. How cool is it for you when, when you see somebody either come into your shop at the mall or, or go up to you at the fair or something and, and see some of your designs and they look at something and you can see it just really register with them or something? I, I have a, the Youngstown Pride shirt is my personal favorite of you guys is um, and, and but every literally every time I wear it somebody comes oh I completely forgot that that team existed and then it, it just conjures up that that really cool memory how neat is that for you it, it, it really is it's one of my favorite parts is just the talking points and how even if you're out of town sometimes a lot of times elsewhere you'll be wearing one and you'll see somebody and they'll stop you and you'll end up having a quick conversation you get to meet people so it is it's it's a blast I love when I see them and I get to talk to people and they get me their memories of whatever shirt and all that and for your business in particular how how, how how exciting has it been to see how much it's taken off over these last couple of years? Very exciting. We uh, from we launched the website in 2016 and started it as a part-time side hustle. Did a couple pop-ups in the mall, and then uh, 2019 after the fair is when we opened our store full-time in the mall, and it's been very exciting. We been you know just thrilled this far yeah it's hard to find uh, people out there that that don't have one of your shirts at this point already matt thank you so much for coming to enjoy the fair and, and he has a lot more like you said they're going to be revealing more today so lots of designs out there at the fair it's easy to find him thanks for coming in studio appreciate it absolutely thanks for having me enjoy your week it is uh trivia time coming up after the break another fair related question it was the very first corn dog stand at the fair ricky's quickie what year did it debut at the Canfield Fair. If you know the answer, give us a buzz.